Now, this is going to get a little personal. I'm sorry. But you say, the businesses will be grandfathered in. Two months ago, I heard you tell this board, can we do anything to stop ST Wooten because they're disrupting the community? Let me remind you folks, ST Wooten's there first. What's to say six months, a year from now, you come to this board and say, let's stop Walter and Atlantic Power because I just don't like what they're doing out there. Wait a minute, I'm grandfathered in. Doesn't matter. You just tried to stop ST Wooten here two meetings, two, three meetings ago, and say, let's find a way to get states start buying asphalt somewhere else so they have to shut down. That's paraphrased, but that's basically the way you said it. That's, I, that's what you're telling me. I was, was uh, what I was presenting was a request from a, a citizen. I was not making that request from me. The citizen had requested. I, I was just forwarding their idea. Well, you know. the fact of the matter is, Anytime we can go back to business that's grandfathered in and we can start trying to find ways to put them out of business, we got a problem. Mm -hmm. And that's what concerns me about even the zoning issue and saying we protect these businesses because they'll be grandfathered in. You know, we got down in my area, we got, well, I, I said we're going to call any other business because they might not want to be pointed out, but we've got a lot of small businesses that are located in rural areas because they got to start there because the cost of operation to get started was, was, was low. They allowed them to succeed and now finally employ several people. And what difference does it make if they're located there and the people like it, the community likes it? It don't make any difference. If they don't need water, if they don't need sewer, if they don't need law enforcement, if they don't need big roads for truck traffic, let them locate the rural areas. I mean, that's why people buy this property and own it. It's so they can call it theirs and do with it what they want to. I understand the concerns of the neighbor. And what I do affect you, uh, affect you. I, just, I, I, I understand that. And I respect that concern. But there's another way to get there without blanket zoning this county. And I think we're making a bad mistake to hit down that road. We need to involve the citizens because they have a voice. They have, a, and, and they should be part of the process. And I would argue that. Yeah.